Welcome to the election night in Georgia 2021. Tonight, we have the Democrats and the Republicans facing off between the two Senate runoffs in Georgia. Early results are currently coming in from both of the races, so we'll check out right now. First, in the regular Senate race, we have the Democratic challenger John Ossoff beating over the Republican incumbent David Perdue by just less than 30,000 votes. Also, in the special Senate race, Raphael Warnock is currently ahead of Kelly Loeffler by 31,000 votes. 3% of the estimated votes are reporting as of now. However, we are calling all of the two races are too early to call at this stage. Looking at the national map, we have the Republicans on 50 seats, one short of the majority, and the Democrats on 48 seats. The seats in Georgia up to tonight reflects the live results as they come in, and the rest of the states shows the 2020. Senate election results. Seven thirty PM rolls in and we have little updates in the state of Georgia. In the Ossoff Purdue race, John Ossoff still has a lead, but the margin is now reduced to only twelve thousand a hundred and eighteen votes with four percent in. Also in the Warnock Loeffler race, the Democrat, Democrat, the Democrat Raphael Warnock has a lead of nearly 16,000 votes. We are currently seeing the Democrats has a little bit more bigger lead in the special election than the regular one. And looking at the national map, we have the Democrats leading in both of the Senate races in Georgia by a likely margin. We are now back with some breaking news. The Republican incumbent, David Perdue, is now leading significantly over Ossoff by 46,000 votes. That's with 9% of the estimated vote counted. On the special Senate race, also the Republican incumbent, Kelly Loeffler, has a lead over Warnock, the Democrat, by more than 39,000 votes. So now those makes the Republicans leading in both of the races by a likely margin. That is a pretty big change from 30 minutes before. Another key race follower and Senator Purdue has now widened his lead to more than 92,000 votes over Ossoff with 16% in. Same number of votes are coming through in another race and Senator Loeffler also leads Warnock by over 79,000 votes. This makes no change on the national map. It is now 9 p.m. in the Eastern Coast, and we have huge number of votes pouring in right now. In the regular Senate race, the Republican David Perdue is leading over the Democrat John Ossoff by an enormous margin of 279,000 votes. Updating the results of the special Senate race, Loeffler leads Warnock by 252,482 votes. Now, these figures now gives a solid lead for the Republicans in the state of Georgia, which will be a blowout for them if the final result looks like that. Now we have the updated key race follower. The incumbent David Perdue has now built up his lead by 424,000 votes ahead of challenger John Arthur. Also the lead for the incumbent 
Kelly Loeffler in the special race is now up to 381,000 plus votes over Raphael Warnock. That would make Republicans holding a solid, solid lead in the regular Senate race, but not in the special one. We are noting that a solid lead means a lead for either candidates by over 15 percentage points. It is now 11 p.m. East and the current vote count is favoring the Democrats in a pretty good numbers for them. However, Purdue is still leading, has a lead over Ostev, but the margin between the two candidates are now under 400,000 votes again with 66% in. And the other race has Loeffler beating Warnock by just over 339,000 votes with 67% of the estimated votes tallied up. Now on the national map we have the GOP leading in a likely margin in both Senate races in Georgia. The next day of voting of the Senate runoff in Georgia has come and we have large number of votes currently coming in. David Perdue, the incumbent Republican, is leading over John Ossoff, the challenger, Democrat, by more than 445,000 votes and that's actually up from the last hour. The special Senate race also has Kelly Loeffler, the Republican incumbent, over Raphael Warnock with a margin of 377,552 votes. So that makes no difference on the Senate map compared to the last hour. It is now a time for us to go through the key races with 88% reporting on the regular Senate election in Georgia, Senator Purdue is maintaining a lead of more than 329,000 votes over Ossoff, the Democrat. Also, the special Senate election has Senator Loeffler ahead of Raphael Warnock by over 255,000 votes. That's actually close to 256,000 votes. But since hours ago, the Democrats are catching up the Republicans as they did in the 2020 presidential election in Georgia with Joe Biden in their ticket. The current national map, national Senate map, has no change compared to the last hour. Another key race follower is waiting for us. Now, 94% of estimated votes are in on the regular one, and David Perdue's lead is down to around 216,000 votes, falling more than 100,000 votes from 1 a.m. The special one has 95% counted, and it is even more narrower. Loeffler leads Warnock by nearly 137,000 votes, but you can see that the percentages are getting close to 50-50, an even split. When we look at the center map, we have both of those center races are down to a lead for the Republicans. As 3 a.m. East rolls in, we have not many votes remaining in the state of Georgia. David Perdue leading John Ossoff, but the margin is down to only, down to only 173,000 votes currently with 97% reporting in the regular Senate race. But on the special Senate race, Kelly Loeffler is leading Raphael Warnock by just under 92,000 votes with 98% in. That would make no change on the national Senate map.
Now, at 4 a.m., we have a major projection in the regular Senate election in Georgia. Global Elections UN is now putting the Republican incumbent, David Perdue, as a current winner in the regular Senate race. He will return to the Senate after a hard fought between the Democratic challenger John Ossoff. This is because Purdue still had the lead of greater than 100,000 votes with 98% in. However, the special Senate race will have an automatic recount as Loeffler leads Warnock by only 20,000 votes with still some Democratic counties yet to finish their count. Looking at the Senate map, we now have the Republicans up to 51 seats over the 50 seats needed to win. So that means the Republicans will retain control of the United States Senate. This is our major call at 4 a.m. Eastern Time. After another hand recount in the great state of Georgia, we have a following projection. Republican incumbent Kelly Loeffler is the official winner according to Georgia Security of State. That will be a hold for the Republicans and Loeffler will successfully succeed. Joni Isaacson who retired in early 2020. Looking at the official results of the regular Senate election first. David Perdue defeats John Ossoff by just over 90,000 votes, 51% to 49%. And the special Senate race has ended in a victory for Kelly Loeffler and the Republicans over Rafa Warnock and the Democrats. But the margin was only 5,987 votes. The final Senate map of the election cycle has the Republicans at 52 seats and the Democrats at 48 seats, meaning that the Dems gained a net of one seat compared to 2018. Thank you for following our 2021 virtual election night coverage in Georgia. Please consider subscribing Global Elections United Network, especially if you have interests on the elections around the globe. Also, like, share and comment down below. Again, thank you for watching.